Hey, what's going on? Sean here. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. I'm super excited. This is literally like my second video I've ever done. Never been a big YouTuber. And the first video got a bunch of attention. Uh, I think about 4,000 hits in the first month or, or so. And uh, I think I have about 114 subscribers. Super cool. Thanks for subscribing. Um, but uh, if you are watching this video and you haven't watched Kenny Veach's last video that he posted, which is titled M Cave, I would really suggest you watch that one first, as well as my first video, which is titled M Cave Follow Up. If you don't watch those, this one won't really make a whole lot of sense, and you might kind of spoil the story for yourself. Um, so do that first. So hit stop right now, go watch those, come back. All right, so to talk about this video a little bit, I filmed the hike with a camcorder and my iPhone. I had trouble putting uh, all the shots into one program to edit them. That camcorder is a little old, out of date. Um, so I ended up re-recording some of the camcorder shots with my iPhone off the computer screen, you know, playing the camcorder shots on the computer screen. and re-recording it super ghetto I know but uh, I wanted to get it you know edited posted I felt like I'd taken too long already so bear with uh, a little bit of background noise on some of those shots and the quality for the camcorder shots okay so to give you guys an idea of where we actually are on these hikes and where Kenny went missing at I want to show you guys this map okay so here's Las Vegas clearly right there um, this is north Okay, these are the these are the mountains. These are the sheep. This is the sheep range right here. All these these mountains here. So how you get there is you take 95 out. There's 95. Take it out. And there's a Corn Creek Visitor Center. It's right here. You you got to turn on Corn Creek Road. Go down here, and then from here you kind of go wherever you want to go. Um, the first hike. Well, actually, let me start with where Kenny most likely parked and went missing from. Uh, he either parked down here or he parked right in here somewhere. One of these two and then hiked up through here. This is where you're gonna find that that mine where his cell phone was found somewhere in this area and then he claims the MK video was somewhere in here or I'm, I'm sorry the M cave was somewhere in here. Okay so on my first hike I went right, I parked about over here, uh, it's called Cow Corral, I don't know exactly, and then I, I walked along here with Jimmy, and then we went in here through Picture Canyon, okay, hiked in here, got to about right there, and then we ran short on time, so we had to hike out, and we left, okay, so then now on this hike, this video you're about to watch, I park, me and uh, Chris, we park right here, and then we hike up this way, hike up this way. We go to the mine shaft, which is somewhere in here. Go through here, this little canyon. We camp right about here, somewhere in here. And then we search this whole area. These uh, little canyons here, this, this area. And then we go all the way over here, search this whole area. And we basically connect the dots to my first hike and we get all we get right here and go to the same exact spot and you'll see that in the video so I'm just trying to really paint the picture for you guys and get you to understand you know where we're at so that when you're watching the video you kinda have an idea by seeing this and and seeing the bird's eye view and so yeah we did that it was a three day two night hike uh, we came in here camped out right here for a couple nights and then we hiked back out this way past the mine shaft again all down this wash and then back to the truck which was right about here so hopefully that helps you kinda understand where all this is taking place Okay.
All right, I'll try to keep this short because I know I'm going to be hurting on battery battery life from this. We're at the end of Joe May Road. This is where it ends. Kind of comes to a little circle here. That's it. It's the end of the road. This is right where Kenny most likely parked. And then he headed up through this, uh, I guess you could call it a wash of some sort. But this is the sheep range right here. Over these mountains, you would find Gas Peak. And then after Gas Peak, you'd have Las Vegas. Las Vegas is that direction, which is south. You have east. And you have north. Wild horse. Pe and then over here, those mountains over there across the way is the Mount Charleston Range and uh, 95 Highway. Over there. Bolt doors shut on the truck just now. Okay, for Kenny, one, two, here we come. All right, well, we're another half mile up. The truck is way back there. Right there. A little white speck. It's hard to hold the camera steady. It's super windy out here. Kenny sets up and uh, starts off his video, his last video. Right. Uh, we're about, I don't know, a few, few hours in. We're almost to the mine. Almost three hours exactly. Almost three, three hours exactly. Truck is way back there. And now, we are coming up on the mine. Pretty steep hill that we're we've been climbing up, walking up. So just wanted to give you guys a shot before we actually reach the mine and a shot back and around. 3.6 miles in. Alright, let's go. Took us, it was about almost four miles to get here from uh, the Joe May parking spot, trail, whatever you want to call it. So here's, here's the mine shaft. I'm going to pick up the camera and show you guys a little bit of the area now. pretty far drop. This is a big, big hole. Got a flashlight. There you go. It doesn't even shine. This is a, there's a barrel down there. This is a giant, I, I would say down to the bottom where that barrel is, is probably about 30 feet at least. What do you say, yeah, Chris? I was thinking 35, yeah. Yeah. But it is a far drop. If you did fall down here, he says in his video 
oh, if you fell down there, you're a goner. And some people are like, eh, I don't know about that. And I can say right now, if you fell down in this hole, you are not going to be in good shape. You are not going to be having a good day. Yeah, absolutely. So, pretty serious fall there. The uh, search, Red Rock Search and Rescue said they sent a camera down here and they couldn't find anything. They may have gone down in as well. Uh, I'm not sure, but I don't think going down in here is worth the injury risk and looking for Kenny. I don't think he had much interest in this mine anyways. And, uh, but his cell phone was found right here around this mine. So let me get up here and kind of show you a little bit of That is north. That, that's the way we're heading over that little uh, ridge there or hill um, is where all the canyons kind of start to begin and all the caves and stuff. Over here. Down there, way down there be able to hold this steady now that has something to brace against is where the truck is way way down there that's the road can't see the truck it's off to the left and then Vegas is over those hills and the Mount Charleston is way over those hills the other side. it's a little windy today visibility sucks but I uh, just want to make sure I get you guys shot in this area with the mine shaft. There it is. All right, we're going to keep moving so we can go find a place to set up camp. And we'll see you guys in a little bit. Later. All right, super windy. Where's the mine shaft? The mine shaft is there. We just headed north. We just walked all down that. Continuing on. This is the this is the path he takes. He goes down this. Through there. And on my first video, I got to somewhere right over over there. I come in and I go back out. I didn't make the full loop all the way in, but he goes this way on his first MK video. So, this kind of give you an idea of how, how strong the wind is right now. mountains right here this little area Let's see if we can find in cave or anything else see you soon okay, so we just came down from that hill oh, I'm gonna fall. which was up that way and the wind has completely just gone away it's going right over the top of us it's going right over our head so it's beautiful down here no wind and just wanted to show you guys what this looks like it's so nice out here this this video doesn't do it justice at all we're dreading the climb back out considering the loop around but we'll see yeah we'll see how tough it gets and uh consider our options definitely don't want to get stuck in a spot where we got to climb up and burn a bunch of extra calories and hate ourselves on the way out of here. Yeah, super nice. This will never do it justice, but 
I understand why Kenny came out here all the time. This, this area is so beautiful. We're headed right down there. There's a little, looks like a little, some little canyon or something that goes through there. So we're gonna climb down here, head through there. We should start to see some pretty decent caves. All right, we'll see you in a bit. All right, so that little uh, canyon thing is right over here. We just walked through it. We came this way and we're going down this way. Might be a little hard to see with the sun, but, and right over there, that's where I got to in my first video, but I came from that way. This area is, uh, there's tons of places around here where you can explore, like just this area right here. You can climb up. There's just lots to go and explore on. And then uh, we just kind of glanced over here to the left, up here, and there's That's not weird that the, <laughs> That's a little creepy. That the wind uh, just picked up. Right, right as you're introducing. Right as I'm introducing what may be the M Cave. Uh, we are walking up to it now. We're about six and a half hours in. One, two, three, four, five and a half hours in. Um, and I don't know, it's pretty... Kenny said it was low to the ground, which this is low to ground level up there. And it vibrated his body as he walked closer to it. So we're gonna head up there. Here it is. Pretty deep. Huh. Pretty deep? No. Shallow? Yeah. Fires. Pretty cool spot. <sighs> Definitely uh, no M cave. Definitely not the M cave. No. But got a good vantage point right here. We might set up shop. We'll see. <sighs> All right. Still super windy out here. Um, there's that canyon we came through. But uh, we decided to set up shop. We might poke around here before the sun fully goes down. Um, maybe over there or through here. You can't really see it. But we kind of set this camp up in the middle of all these trees out here to break up this wind. I'll go over here so you get a better look. We have trees all around us. But it is just nasty out here. I think the curse of the, the MK and Kenny. The wind changed directions. It was coming from the south. Now we got it coming from the west, and it's hitting us pretty hard. Yep. The elements are slightly against us. The wind. Beautiful night, though. Yeah, we're, we're going to have some moonlight tonight. Full moon. Full moon tonight. Got a little fire pit set up. We're not going to go crazy with it because we don't want to burn down the forest. Not the forest, or the desert, whatever this is, desert. Wildlife. So we're gonna set up, kick back for a sec, take a rest. We'll see you guys in a little bit, or we might just see you in the morning. All right, we're live. Let's 
Saturday morning. Last night was pretty cold. About maybe high 40s. Mid 40s, yeah. Mid 40s. Yep. Sun just came up. It's probably about 8 o'clock. Got our fire going. Boiling some water. The desert was unusually quiet last night, which was a little weird and strange. I mean, no birds, no footsteps, no no eyes looking out in the, into the dark, nothing. So today, we came from this direction yesterday. So that's, this is that canyon. It's probably hard to see with the sun. So that's that canyon we walked through. Same way Kenny goes in his video. And then he heads, he heads down this way. So today, or uh, last night, yesterday, we decided to set up shop right here, which is probably about the halfway point on his hike, his MK of hike through this area. But today we're gonna head through this little canyon that goes up over here. And then also, check this area out back here, and then up on that mountain, maybe a little over it. And then later today, we may set up camp down there for tonight and look for M Cave or Kenny or anything else. All right, just want to give you guys an update. It was fetching cold last night. That's for sure. I think the, what was the high yesterday, Chris? Like 70 or something or? Yeah, probably mid 70s, something like that. Mid 70s and then dropped all the way down to mid 40s. Good times. That's the desert for you. Yep. We'll see you guys soon. Oatmeal's ready. Oatmeal's ready. Not so deep. This hell looks like a M though. It does. Very much so. There's definitely some tracks I've been through here. Look at that, there's light. Light in there? Goes and goes. Wow. Who knows? Was this the cave Kenny was talking about? It's right up from the wash. I don't feel, I don't feel my body vibrating. But Hold on. Another, another cave, shape of an M. Goes up there quite a ways, huh? Yeah. All the way behind this big rock. Man. 
And they keep going? Yeah, it goes all the way here and then kind of stop right here. Wow. Well, this has been here a while though. That's for sure. We're put it here. It's got dust all on it where it contacts the rock right here. And it's, it's wedged in there. This may have even moved since this has been here because it's wedged in here so tight. We'll come out. All right. It's about 9.15 a.m. Saturday. Uh, we've been searching around these areas right here. We're still close to our camp, which is straight down here, just over this little ridge thing. To give you guys an idea, the mine shaft is right over that little saddle right there. And then, two miles? Yeah, mm -hmm. two miles. Yeah. And we're headed down this way, which was his original path, and we're going to search for the M cave down there. Figured we'd come up here though, kind of get a, a better vantage point. Just give you guys an idea of what it looks like out here. explain that there's there's a lot of UTV ATV trails over this way and gravel roads just down here two to three miles tops uh, there's a lot of hiking you know it's a very popular area now on the, on the contrary to the to the east this direction here where it gets real high real rugged and real rough is at least 10 to 15 miles before there's any man-made structures, highways, public roads, anything like that. So it gives you an idea about where we're at. Yeah, and how remote it is out here. So where are we going next? I think we should head down the wash and look for the cave. As, as much as I want to find Kenny, I think this cave is is taking precedence. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go find M Cave. Chris is gonna go check that out. If he gets eaten up, I will be at a safe distance. It goes all the way through. Go in there, man. Go over there and get like there's a bunch of black soot on the ceiling. So somebody had a fire in there at one point. Let's go check it out. Chris said it goes all the way through. See how there's soot on the ceiling? Yeah. And you see how soft all this is? Like the flood filled it all up with dirt. So it's almost like it was uh, deeper. Yep. And then the water and flood filled it in with all these rocks. Yeah. Somebody was definitely hanging out here though. Had a fire or something. We're going that way. Which is uh, getting 
getting all mixed up out here. Uh, that's going to be northwest towards uh, Mount Charleston Range and towards Picture Canyon, which is where I entered this area from last time. Go over there. Kind of give you guys a shot this side. That way, that's pretty much north, northeast. Our camp is over there. All right. So directly behind me is where our camp is. And now I'm walking towards Picture Canyon. Um, me and Chris split up so that we could kind of comb this area a little better and cover more ground. So I kind of took the left side. He he took the right side. He's over there somewhere. So I'm kind of just covering this area over here because in uh, Kenny's video he says it's a real low cave. To the, it's really low to the ground. Uh, and it's dark and deep, but that being said, that means it could be easily missed for sure. So I'm just kind of watching this this area, this low area along the mountain as I walk down. And Chris is over. somewhere in there the, the trees are pretty starting to get pretty dense so I can't see them anymore but we're gonna meet up down at the end down here uh, what's really strange is that I keep finding birthday balloons out here you remember that birthday balloon you let go as a little kid you live in Las Vegas um, I know exactly where they ended up maybe the M cave has got some kind of gravitational pull on uh, slumber party birthday balloons because I found one on my first hike and then we found two since we've been here and what do we have here Another birthday balloon. Really strange. I'm gonna leave it here just so I can kind of remember that spot. Refer back to it if I have to. I like to pick up trash when I see it, but the birthday balloons are a little strange, so I'm gonna leave those there. So that's what four birthday balloons I found in this same area. Really crazy. I had to get you guys a shot of this. I just walked up on it and it was really crazy looking. So it's a rock and it looks like it's in the shape of someone kind of like with their leg up and their arm on their knee and their chin resting on their fist. Super strange. I'm going to walk up to it. See how different it looks once we get up to it. And yeah, oh, wow. Really strange looking. Just a rock though. This does not do this area any justice in this video right here. You just have no 
idea how how vast this area is. There's so many places for that there's caves in and all types of stuff. down this way and just just over here maybe maybe a couple hundred yards is the furthest I came before I went back out and back out picture picture Canyon so we've been combing this whole area all back here really well and really thorough all this we've been walking along the side all through here nothing there's nothing that even looks close to a, to the shape of an M, any caves, especially nothing, especially anything that's dark and deep like Kenny explains. Any thoughts, Mr. Chris? No, that's just like you said, there's, there's not even caves that are deep enough where you can't see the end of them. And the way we split up in this canyon and covered both sides of it, it's not like we're missing it. Because we're on it. But we have another mile or so of canyon walls that we can we'll cover both sides. So me and Chris have now reached uh, the same place that I got to before I turned around and went out Picture Canyon. So over here, this is the same place Kenny is in his video. It's like a really M-shaped weird cave here. And you might not notice it because there's been a lot of flooding through here. And my feet, last time I was in this area, my feet were probably about right where my head is right now. That's how much flooding has gone, gone on through this area and how much uh, the ground level has dropped down. But this is that same weird M-shaped cave thing. And then he, show, he walks by another one. It's kind of in the shape of an M as well, which is this one right here. And then he walks down here. Kind of pauses and does a weird little, I don't know what he, it sounds like he, he just lost his train of thought or something. And then he looks up over here, just like I did in my video. You see that same little crevice thing right there. And if you look closely, little white markings are still up on the rock there I don't know what they are I think I said in my first video that they were like bird poop or something get you a better shot here is a super close-up look at the white markings in the cave no idea what that is. Looks like there's more from last time I was here too. It's kind of weird. It almost looks like it's in the shape of a wrench or something. Yeah, so now I have connected the dots. We have connected the dots on my search, my first search, and this search. I think this would be a good time to be a good time to bring up anything that you guys see on our videos as we're spinning around and, and doing all that. If there's something you see, put it in the comments. 
and tell us because this is not our last trip out here I can promise you that that there's canyons we haven't seen there's canyons we haven't checked that we want to look uh, for the M cave and for Kenny himself so um, comment down below <laughs> and, and uh, let us know what you think if you have any ideas for us if you want to come with us just jump in so we also wanted to bring up the fact that where we parked and where we came in um, to the mine shaft where Kenny's phone was found from that point to here uh, about five miles a little less than five miles um, we followed the natural progression of the valley of the canyon and uh, we haven't taken any big detours east or west of where we were going. So our thoughts are that you know if Kenny was out here looking for the M cave that he would do the same. He, he wouldn't venture far away from you know the, the, the wash and the natural shape of the canyon that, that brings us to this point. Uh, like he did in his video. He progressed down through the wash just like us looking for it and uh, We're moving at a really slow pace and we, we're just being really vigilant on both sides of the canyon When we go back to our base camp, we're gonna watch the opposite side uh, Or we're gonna walk along the opposite side and pay close attention to that as well and see if there's anything we missed so again if you see something in our videos that we could do better um, or if you have an idea, or if you want to join us, comment below. All right, so we feel like this is the only other alternate route that Kenny could have took on his way down to Picture Canyon, uh, where those those two M-shaped caves are and whatnot. So. Back here behind me is where we're going to go explore a little bit um, just to kind of give you an idea of where we're at. Over this hill is where the mine is. So you can come down this way or you can keep going and kind of go down the way we went and around. So really there's only these two major ways this way and the way we came. Because once you get going past this, that way, it's more of a drop off and uh, the cliffs are pretty high once you uh, are trying to walk down into Picture Canyon. It's not really, I don't think he went that way on his MK video, just from... I don't think it'd be possible without, without gear, without repelling gear. Yeah. So we're checking this area out, but I figured it was worthy of a shot because this is pretty, pretty gnarly looking. You see a couple fallen trees in there. You can tell water goes through here every time it rains or floods or. So we're gonna head up through there, see what we find. All right. Another worthy shot of this area. Give you an idea where we're at. Straight up over this hill is the mine shaft. We walk down on the other side of this little saddle. Came down here, and our base camp is right there. Right around there. So today we've gone up to these mountains over here all the way around full circle down that wash full circle We're gone all the way that way and connected the dots from my first search where I came in and then went back out obviously and then now we're we're in this canyon part which is the only other alternate route that he could have taken on the way down to where he supposedly says M Cave is. But uh, I'll just give you a shot of this area. It's really nice. That 
canyon we were just at the base of right here. It's about 75, 80 feet to the bottom from that high side. Serious. Serious don't mess with type of canyon. Yeah, for sure. much we like your input how we want ideas and anything that that uh, we could have done better or possibly something that you seen that we may not have seen and uh, we appreciate constructive criticism any way possible we also appreciate company Thanks, see ya. So Chris just came up on this. You wanna pick them up, maybe? Yes. So we can kind of scale it too. A couple sheds. Some sheep sheds. A couple sheds. Pretty decent size. Yeah. Two of them. And then some bones, invertebrate bones here on the tree, which is weird. Also, Chris came up on these. In the form of an X under a tree. Right, it's about eight o'clock, eight p.m. Just getting settled in for the night. I'm gonna spend the night out here inside the tent. So I don't know. It's all right. I think I'm gonna sleep out here with the fire. Got a nice fire going here. Got a nice stack of wood. Thanks to Chris. feed all night today we I'm pretty sure we completed our search for the M cave and I'll talk more about that on the next little blurb but I'd say M cave search has been completed as far as this valley goes but as far as mr. Veach being found I think there's a lot more work that a lot more ground that could be covered is Unless you stumble on him, there's no way that you can there's no way that you can just find him. You can't just look in a specific area and, and see him. You have to you have to come upon what's left of his body. I think that's the only way that we're gonna find him. Yeah, I agree. So in the morning, we're gonna get up out of here. We've searched this whole area combed it pretty thoroughly for M, M cave at least and and Kenny or whatever might remain of him there's nothing over here so like I said I'll do another little video on that and my thoughts on that but comment 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 let's hear what you got to say positive and negative whatever it is let's hear it absolutely so we're going to get out of here in the morning, probably head out about 8 a.m. Got about a four-hour hike out of here, back to the truck, and then uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. All right, day three. Just packed up our camp, hiking out. Getting a workout. Still no sign of the M cave. And the, the thing is, I've said a couple times that not only is that we did not see a an M shaped cave, an M shaped cave, we never found a deep and dark cave. They're all shallow, 
nothing to be afraid of type cave. So I think we'll just hit another canyon. Uh, you know, maybe maybe Kenny was mixed up with what, with what hikes he's seen that cave or who knows. But the search isn't over. It's, it's got to be out here somewhere if, if, if Kenny was telling the truth. Yeah, as a matter of fact, this canyon behind us, to the left of us, I don't know how good you can see that because of the sun, is a pretty massive area that we definitely have some interest in and we'll probably be searching next time out here. But it's really close in the vicinity of, vicinity of the M Cave search that Kenny did. So, right up through there. We may have to bring some ropes and harnesses for that one. We'll see. But we're heading out. Probably be about a four mile or four hour hike. So we'll see you in a little bit. All right. Finally made it to the top of this hill, Wild Horse Pass. That's the area we were hiking in and searching in, camping in for the last two, three days. Uh, the rest is downhill, so the mine is straight up ahead over here. Can you see it? It's right up on that hill. It's like right in there somewhere. But I know when I filmed this area yesterday, the wind was really bad. There's really no wind right now at all. I wanted to show you guys this area. Let me get my other camera out real quick. Going back to the truck now. All downhill from here. From right here you can see the mine. Where's that? There it is. There's the mine shaft. So we're gonna hike down this way though. The truck is way back there. Can't even see it. Visibility is a little better today. It's your Mount Charleston range over there. Next trip up here, like Chris was saying, we'll probably hit the mine and then go right up this way. Right up that, up over there, through those, through those hills. All right, see you in a little bit. Old jar. Stone. Looks like we came up on a little camp of some kind, possibly from the workers of this mine, mine shaft straight up the hill here. Tons of tin cans around here. This was probably part of their their uh, fire pit or their oven or their stove. Wow. Chimney going up. Cupboard? <laughs> Shelf. <laughs> Find something like that. I want to get you guys another shot of this area because yesterday the wind was really bad. Directly behind me is the mine shaft. These are the mountains we'll probably explore next time. Up in here. And over here you have, we're headed this way where the truck is. But you have the 95. Over there, Mount Charleston Range. And then there's actually some snow up on the mountain up there, if you can see that. Up there. It's really nice. Still haven't seen any major game, though. A couple bunny rabbits, a few lizards, one snake. 
and I think that's it. A bird, maybe. All right. Well, we made it back to the truck. Just driving out. About I don't know how many miles it is. It's about seven miles of dirt road. Maybe eight from here, the visitor center. So we're signing out. That's a wrap. Until next time. See you later.